Hello there, thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard and today is an absolute unqualified masterpiece. An incredible early Elvis Presley concert poster as you can see with your own two eyes. Now this poster is part of a renowned West Coast poster collection and it's my pleasure and honor to be able to hold it for a few minutes and tell you about it. The Fox Theater in Detroit, Michigan in May of 1956 You've probably seen images of this because it has been reproduced on everything from ashtrays to refrigerator magnets, but this is an absolute stone original piece of cardboard, the original concert poster. And it's, as I said, uh, in 1956, it's May 25, so very early in Elvis's career. He had just blasted off and was just 21 years old. Now, you've seen probably this um, a very similar postage, poster image of Elvis, and that, of course, is this very common poster image that's um, from the summer of 1956. And it's got nice colors, sure it's got the red, white, and blue and so forth. Uses interestingly the same famous photograph. But this is from the spring of 1956. And I just love that the black and white part really appeals to me. The simplicity at the same time having all kinds of fun complex graphics mixed in. It just makes for a really dynamic piece. I mean look at that. You've got the great what's called the tonsil shot. Because <laughs> Elvis's mouth is open. Taken by the way in June of 55 in Tampa, Florida, possibly July, I have to look that up. And you've got those great song titles and musical notes, and look at the script Elvis Presley's name is in, same script as used for the Fox Theater. Um, it's just, it's a dynamic design. It's just really, really a special sweet piece, which, you know, I don't have to tell you. You can tell that by looking at it. Um, it's just, I don't know who designed it. These, these designers did not take credit back then. They just did it. But it's for one day only, how quaint that is, by his foot. See that one day only, but three different show times, and all seats only a dollar fifty. Wow, hmm, boy, and you know something? There were still good seats available on Thursday, and this, you know, this was a Friday show. So Elvis, uh, you know, he was he was an up and comer, but he wasn't quite, uh, you know, he wasn't quite the household name, shall we say, that he'd become later in 1956. Now this was printed in Detroit, Michigan. Isn't that nice? Printed by theatrical advertising company, Detroit One, Michigan, and it was mailed from Detroit, Michigan, and that's where the Providence just gets so killer. It was mailed back from the Fox Theater to Colonel Tom Parker in Madison, Tennessee. And here's the back of the poster with all 12 cents worth of postage to mail this significant piece of cardboard, and the postmark, May 11th, 1956. You can see it there, and then we have... You, can, you can't make that out too easily, perhaps, but it does say Colonel Tom Parker with an address in Madison, Tennessee. And you also see a lot of um, glue residue on the back from when it was mounted somewhere at some time. It came from the um, archives, by the way, of Graceland, so perhaps it was actually mounted in Colonel Tom's uh, office back in Madison, Tennessee. And uh, the poster came to light from the archives of Graceland in this wonderful auction. Um, put the poster down for just a moment and this auction was held a number of years ago and was very famous because it was totally sanctioned by the Presley estate and I believe Priscilla and Lisa Marie even attended it in person and they gave the back cover over to the poster that's how that's how on fire everybody knew the poster was and it came by the way with a contract as well to the show and they gave the whole thing a nice two-page spread inside there's the write-up and then there's the contract and the poster pictured there on, uh, on the purple velvet, it looks like a really nice presentation. So this is the exact poster that went in that auction a number of years ago. And so, as I said, belonging to a renowned West Coast collector, and we're very, uh, I'm very thrilled to be able to hold it and tell you about it for sure. Interestingly, speaking of Detroit, Elvis uh, d played in Detroit more than any other city in America, with the one exception, obviously, of Memphis, Tennessee. Um, Elvis played Detroit seven times between 1956 and 1977, so obviously it was a special town to him. As of May 25th, by the way, the date of the show, we had only one top ten hit. I mean, Elvis with only one top ten hit, can you imagine? But it was a huge one. It was Heartbreak Hotel, and that was number one for two months, including right now, at the time of the show, Heartbreak Hotel was number one. Um, he would soon release, but actually just released, I should say in May, I should say in May, just released was I Want You, I Need You, I Love You, and that was headed also for number one. Elvis's first album also was number one, and that would be number one for two and a half months, and of course I'm talking about this famous record, also with the famous tonsil shot. 
So you've got all these nice early elements. Of course, RCA really took that picture and played it up and beat it to death. And as they should have, it was a very exciting image for sure. So Elvis had the number one record at this time with Heartbreak Hotel. You want to know how boring pop music was at this moment? Elvis had uh, number one, numbers two through five. Well, let's see, there were two versions of Moon Glow and the theme from Picnic. And I'm a music historian. I've worked it in my entire life, and I've, I played it. I didn't recognize it. I've never heard it before. And there were two different versions in the top five. And it, the top five was rounded out by Perry Como and Gogi Grant. So, wow, was the world primed for rock and roll, that's for sure. So as we mentioned, there were three performances on this day at the Fox Theater for Elvis, and they all lasted 30 minutes each. Elvis took home $10,000 for his day's work, because about 12,005 people attended in total for the three shows. A little disconcerting that his backup musicians, Scotty and Bill, only were getting paid $200 a week at this point, which probably means they made, what, like 50 bucks each <laughs> for each show? I don't know. It's it's um, you know it's pretty it's it's that's the way the music was back then. Uh, it's kind of neat the way Elvis Presley's name is three times. See the big script and then twice more between his legs. That's just uh, you know Colonel Tom really milking, really milking his clients' publicity. That's for sure. Off to the left of Elvis, we have um, the song title was Heartbreak Hotel, and I was the one on top of that, and that is his current number one single. So that's really fun. That's really neat. And then on the other side of Elvis, you've got My Baby Left Me. That was the B side of his new 45. I want you, I need you, I love you. But it would have been much better to put you know the other the I want you, I need you side on there because My Baby Left Me was just the B side. And then it gets kind of funny. I mean, there's Blue Suede Shoes, and yeah, Elvis recorded that in the EP track went up to number 20, but Carl Perkins had the current top 10 hit with Blue Suede Shoes. And then you've got Long Tall Sally. That's the real head scratcher. I'm not sure I get that because Elvis didn't even record Long Tall Sally until September. And it was a current top 20 hit for Little Richard. But you know what I think it was? I think it's just all rock and roll. And nobody paid too much attention to who was getting songwriter royalties or anything like that. It was just all rock and roll and let's have a good time and blow away Perry Como and Gogi Grant, shall we? So, okay, I'm going to close this by putting down the poster and showing you a couple of photographs, a nice support for the poster. There is the Fox Theater. Looks unlike a lot of other movie theaters. This is big, huge, majestic building in Detroit. And inside the Fox Theater, on this date for Elvis's concert, look what they did. The top of the stairway, look at the huge Elvis stand-up. Isn't that amazing? Boy, can you imagine walking in the theater to see Elvis and seeing that stand-up? Or can you imagine having that stand-up today? Who knows if it survived, obviously. And then for the shows themselves, I don't know if it was early, middle, or late, but there's the E on stage at the Fox Theater on this date, 1956. Great looking, you know, just um, looking out at the audience and look how much open stage area there was there and everything, so unlike rock concerts of today. And here's a close-up of um, <clears throat> Elvis without the context of the audience, just right there. There he is, the same date as this poster. Again, I don't know which of the three shows. And uh, guitarist Scotty Moore, who we all love. Gave Elvis his early sun sound and everything. There they are, playing away on this date. And then we got a couple more photos. Um, the photographer who was covering it, um, he got Elvis either after or between shows, between shows, speaking to a young, couple of young journalists from Detroit. And boy, I hope they have this framed on their wall, or their offspring or grandchildren do, because what a memorable photo that is, with their pens and their paper and asking this new, almost superstar questions for the local press, and then here's Elvis just goofing around between shows in the local pinball arcade. <laughs> so, it's really fun to have that kind of documentation. So, But, you know, the poster's the thing. Here it is, the masterwork, absolute masterpiece. Hope you enjoyed seeing it today, certainly enjoyed showing it to you, and I, I can guarantee you, the next video blog I do on PosterCentral.com will be a step down, no matter what it is, no matter what it is. But you know, you got to reach the mountain sometimes, and we did it today. So, thanks for your time. Nice seeing you. Nice seeing Elvis, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.